What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it, man. My man, Tony, decided to step up into the building and share his experience with controversial company, Super Eagle. But before we get into that conversation right there, we have a blockbuster conversation between him and his dispatcher. In the clip that we about to listen to, this pretty much contradicts everything that Super Eagle say and do. Tony wants to get this information out there. He wants it to be shared. He wants to let people know this is what dispatchers are doing if they feel some kind of way about you if you're up under their fleet. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. What's going on, everybody? Unfortunately, we had to edit out the session of the video where Tim was talking to his dispatcher, where we come to learn that there are illicit practices that is being done at controversial company, Super Eagle. To the point that it must have touched a nerve over at controversial company, Super Eagle. Someone over at controversial company, Super Eagle, really don't want you guys to know the truth. There are practices that's going on that's hurting drivers that's that's putting drivers in in despair and tim was able to talk with a dispatcher that actually tells the truth about what are the practices are being done over at controversial company super eagle but unfortunately for us we had to pretty much edit out that session of the video so if you guys want to hear that conversation with tim and the dispatcher the link for that will be in the description below again thank you guys for listening we really do appreciate it and if you guys have any experiences or stories that you would like to tell reach out to us by the gmail that is lockoutmen podcast at gmail.com. All right, Tony in the building. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the sit down, my guy. I really do appreciate you coming in and chopping it up with the lockout men. What can I say? It's like every time. I, I get a guest on the show and they share the controversial company stories, Super Ego. Uh -huh. it, it, it seems that it's another interesting one that pops right up. I just got finished uh, talking to Tim. Shout out to him. He shared his story. Yeah, that, was so good. that was ridiculous. Yeah, that was, that was hurtful. He had to go through all of that just to try to find a truck where his belongings is at and and the company is just giving him the runaround which they which they don't do i see this video posted and i'm listening to it and i'm like wait is that a dispatcher dropping on yep. the tea hey every little bit of tea not even a, a drip behind of that cup <laughs> not even a drip so tony man i i need you to take us back man to like when did the call come through and how did y'all come to, to talk the way y'all was talking on the video? So uh, I, he was about the dispatch I started off with. I was with another dispatcher by the name of Susan. I was with her for her being my dispatch. I was with the company for a total of five months. She was my dispatcher up until December when with her and I had to drop her. So driving with him for, I want to say a month. And then he writes me out of nowhere. I'm in Oklahoma. Right to me out of nowhere. Well, he texts me on WhatsApp out of nowhere. He say, let me go back to the to the messenger. So, so he texts me like, hey, Anthony, is this you? This is what conversation you would want to have, bro. Let me know when you got time to talk. I'm your friend with all of this. I work for Super Ego. So, of course, I'm like, friend of Super Ego. Only talk to three people that work at Super Ego. Four people. Then two of them I was in the military with. So I don't really conversate with nobody else outside of me with the super ego. So I'm like, all right, I don't know who this is, but let me see what they got to say. So I'm like, talk to me, what's up? So then he called me. He's like, hey, what's going on, bro? I'm like, bro, do I know you? He said, yeah, it's a dispatcher. 
I was like, oh, how, how do you get my WhatsApp? But then I put two and two together. You only need somebody's phone number to get on WhatsApp. So the right about WhatsApp. So he goes to say, yeah, I got a good proposition for you. Goes on to, the, to talk about partially of what you heard in the video. Uh, Phil said, yeah, this company steals money from you. They're a bunch of criminals. This, that, the third. He goes on to say, uh, I can make you, I can get you a visual rate or the real rate because the company, they lie to y'all on the rate. And if y'all ask for a rate card, then we edit the rate cards and send y'all a dispatcher rate card or whatever. And we can put whatever we want on there. So if we say, if you get a note that's paid, let's say 4000 and I can give it to you for 2500 well, the company tells me to give it to you for 2500 So I'm like, okay, that's fine, I guess. And then he's like, uh, yeah, I can't really, the reason why we do that is because they have cameras watching us. And really, I'm kind of scared to be on the phone because they could be da 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 or some other stuff. So I'm like, okay, so what did you really call me to talk about besides the stuff that I already know about? So he, uh, he say that load that you had that you got mad at me with, it was a load going from North Carolina to Oklahoma, and it was supposed to, so I got pissed because I knew somebody else that did this load and they paid film like forty one hundred, but he already offered me twenty five hundred on that load. I'm like, dude, I know I can get more for this for this load. You said her book the yes. So I think that's what led to him having a well, him reaching out to me after the fact because he was like, yeah, I feel bad about on this load because I really wanted to give you more, but the company wanted to that out. I'm like, what do you mean the company wants to that out? If that's what the rate is going for, y'all do offer rates. So why did y'all take the whole? 2000 from it. So he was like, Yeah, I know, yada, yada, but I can get you more rates. Starting up Monday, which was a couple of weeks ago, the company is changing its policy for us to give y'all more money so it looks better on the company. So I'm like, That don't really make sense because that's what the usher have been doing for y'all drivers. Because after the day, if these drivers stop driving for y'all, y'all ain't going to have anything. So y'all supposed to really take care of the drivers first. So we'll start a short down, we'll give you the short down version. So from that point, he goes to say, Yeah, for every four thousand, for every thousand, just give me something on the side. Like what about driver used to do it? But he passed away. He got tired driving behind a truck and crashed into a bridge. Now I gotta turn my back. Yeah, it was so much in that whole conversation that you was having with with that dispatcher. So let me make sure I get this so I can understand. This guy that you're talking to is your actual dispatcher. He's the one that's dispatching loads to you, right? Correct. Right. Okay, so he reaches out to you because of the bad that costed you two grand instead of getting the whole four grand. He reached out to you to be like, okay, well, let me get on a good foot with you so we can start making this money together, right? So, right, because he knew I was one of his best drivers, that he had as a part of his dispatcher fleet. Correct. Okay, okay. So in part of that conversation, he was going like he could take money from other drivers and 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 give Correct. it to you. Correct. We hearing this from an actual physical dispatcher that's on with the company now that actually allegedly, let's let's just say allegedly, allegedly that he can put money, more money in your pocket by taking money out of other drivers' pockets. Right? That's not allegedly what he did. That's exactly what he did. There's nothing alleged about anything. Oh, no, it's no, we we exactly got the whole we we got the whole video. I, I'm just saying for for my purpose. So yeah, 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 yeah. We 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 heard what he said. We we got what he said. He said it from from his voice and everything. But I'm I'm just saying from from my so, standpoint. I'm outside looking in. So right. But right, right, right. but he tell but he tells you he can he can do that. How are you feeling about that at that part right there? Like, well, bro, you taking money out of other people's pockets? How was you feeling about that at that point? So first, let me mention this. So that video that was just a clip of which I heard. The, the total call was eighteen minutes. Facebook was an hour to be now be to upload the whole eighteen minute conversation. Okay. So I had to dub it down to about six minutes and then upload it. But now to answer your question, at that time he's telling me all this, but wait, now I can't trust the company. I can't trust you as a, a dispatcher. The integrity of the company is shot to me because I'm, I'm a veteran. I'm big on integrity. And to me, a company is like a child, right? It's like a baby. 
So if you would, if you destroy that personality, then it's nothing but a shell. And I just don't trust them. I don't, I don't fool with them. Nothing. At that point, that's just how I felt. All right. So he goes on to give you another story with controversial company Super Eagle and their multiple shell companies do to you guys to make you guys run and make this money. One of the drivers was running so hard that he just crashed into a bridge. We know how. We know why. We know exactly. how. Exactly. Allegedly gave him the opportunity to just keep running and he got tired. Probably fell asleep behind the bridge. So now what you're saying is, okay, I'm going to take his money and give it to you too. How you feeling about that part right there when he's telling you that, man? That story, I, I, I was messed up behind because I'm like, you try to joke with people's lives. Like, you don't play with nobody's life. You don't play with nobody's sins. You don't play with a lot of things when it comes to people. And that's one of them. You play with that man. You literally throw that man to, well, in a way, it's, so it's a two part scenario to that, right? Because the driver is supposed to know when they're tired, pull off. First of that old, forget that old, forget if you late. So you're tired, you go to sleep. That old can wait. Your life is more important. So the, and this one, that driver can get his proper 10 hours. Or 11 hours, whatever the case may be. So, on that end of it, I'm like, it, it's just a whole messed up, the, the whole situation, right? Just complete messed up. That's sad, man. So, you said yourself after you finished up with the call, and you just said to yourself that you have to get this information out here. What was it, the calls for you to try to get this, this much needed information out there? Because, like you said before, the video does contradict a lot of the stuff that uh, that Super Eagle has been saying for a good minute. Right. So first off, I had to wait for the video to clear with the lawyers. That's the number one. Number two, it's me and three other people that's at us on Facebook page on our on our on our group page. Super Eagle, the truth. It's four at us on us. So I kind of say them on the daily. We all kind of say with each other on the daily. You all kind of say, well, lawyers know the deal. So, uh, those story short, I had that video for about two weeks, a week and a half, maybe. So, partially of me hold back on that evidence or, or that video because I myself was like, nah, I'm going to get more on this and at least work for him for that week, for a week, to even show an increase about in my, in my pay stuff, which it did. So, I, I got the receipt for that to back up that video. Now, uh, everything. We we not gonna just sit here and say stuff about Super Ego that has the, the receipt to prove it. That the the, the the paperwork to back it up or the evidence to back up what we say. So I ran with him for that week. I agreed to do that with him for a week. For that first week that he said in the video, if you agree with me do it for a week, just give it a test. So I said yes. And then from there we are conversations as usual. I told him I was gonna put the video out. We are like, nah, we gonna wait. We we came up for the decision to wait between us and the lawyer. Then once the lawyers cleared it, and then I got my receipts from it, then that's what I posted it. Just to show and prove to everybody that keep coming over here, yeah, they lie, yeah, this group is a bunch of fakes, and yada, 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 rising, rising, whatever. But here's the receipt right here. Here's the video y'all can, y'all can, y'all, y'all can always watch this, this video. We don't have nothing to lie to y'all about when it comes to Super Ego. Like, you have over, we reached over 800 people in the group already that come here with the same story every time. So how are we lying? You talk to four people out of 800. They call it us lying. So what about the other people? 796 people. They lying too? But Tony, what, what do you say about the people that's calling you guys out by saying that y'all haven't even been there long enough to to even speak on Super Eagle? Like some of you guys been there for like five months, six months. A couple of other guys is just saying y'all just coming to Super Eagle so y'all could just have a story to tell. What, what do you say about that? Yeah. All I got to say is it only takes you a week to get to know a company. It only takes you two weeks to get to know a person. So really, it don't matter how long you with somebody. Whenever they decide to show face, they're going to show face. It could be the second day. It could be the third day. It could be the first day. You'll, you'll find out what somebody really about when you're with them. It ain't no different than a relationship. You can be with them the first two months, and then they start showing their, their bad side. So the tire ain't nothing. I've been with them for five, the other four are three admins. Been with them, one of them been with them for a year, some change, and then the other one been with them for like three months. And we got evidence. That's all I can say to those people. 
I mean, I really don't need to explain anything more. I let my evidence speak for itself. None of them got anything that we have as between the four of us. And if they do, congrats. Maybe they need to join our design. So be it. Go about your day. Just some good stories that I'm sitting here listening to, man. I'm. Uh, it's, it's crazy that a lot of these stories are out here just like you guys. And there are still people that are giving controversial company super eagle and this and this uh shell companies the benefit of the doubt i i i see the ads i see the the promotions i see the youtubers the tiktokers i see all of them coming over here saying yo super ego is this you can earn money you can make money you can be on boss and this that and the third but we got drivers like you and others over here saying like, yo, super ego, they, people losing their lives, losing their families, cars, license, people going homeless, all because you listening to, you, you listen to all these reviews that these other guys are getting paid for. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I was reached out. I was one of those YouTubers that they reached out to to come and, and and to show to show some good light on the company and all like that, I was offered a, I would I was offered a fee. I I felt that it wasn't enough. I'm just that saying. That worked for them. I'm just saying that worked for them. Yeah 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 that, yeah that, yeah. That, that, that. Yeah, you got a lot of you got a lot of people or a lot of drivers that that say, hey, if you're gonna pay me good, yeah, I'll I'll talk good about you too. <laughs> but, exactly, exactly. but 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 for me as i as i explained before i would have took the money but i would have asked the questions my own way but i'm sure it right. would have been it would have been a hold indemnity clause that certain questions that i can't ask and this that and the third so i guess that's why it never happened right. with me but sitting here listening to you guys and getting y'all stories out there I, I still don't understand why why are super eagles still getting the benefit of the doubt, man? See, one thing I know is that the owner of Super is worth to this date one point four billion. Everything in this world comes down to what? Money. I don't understand how you have a nine nine percent rating throughout every company that you own when it comes to DOT. You get pulled into every scale. Every super ego truck gets pulled into every scale because of that bad rating. And y'all still on the road. Out of the Floyd, Windy City, E7, what's the other one? Rocket, all got 99 or 100 for a scale pulling. Why are they still on the road? You have, we have a lot of evidence to show what y'all doing to our drivers. Why are y'all still allowed to do this? We have a lot of drivers, over 25, I think it's like 2,000 now, that's within this lawsuit. Why are they still in business? Nobody's trying to step up and do anything about it. Everybody's striking their feet. And that's, that's the problem. That's why you have tires, crashes, all these videos have said about what they're doing. But they'll happen. And then not only that, to speak on to the side of what you said about the advertisement, people coming over to the group or going on to social media, or say YouTube. Most of those drivers that's coming to the page, or most of the people that's coming to the page or coming or YouTube, or Facebook, whatever, or social media, whatever. And I don't see either one dispatchers that create a fake account, or two, within the office, that create a fake account, or three, drivers that they pay to come and say good things on the company, which is paid advertisement. But it's false advertisement, which is also against the law. So, I, I'm talking about my head about this, and I can't. Like, it, it just don't make sense. I was the, I was the dummy that, that heard stuff when I first arrived to the, to the office, right? Drivers turn their trucks, go their customer around, give a fight on all that. But as soon as I walk into the office, but I still continue to do it, but I should have backed out. That should have been a red flag to me, but I overlooked it. Tony, let me ask you this. So five months in or five months ago, why did you give controversial company Super Eagle a chance? I did it solely because of the, the situation I was in at the work. For two, big or other type of person that's like, Everybody has to have something negative to say. I like to find out stuff my own way. I like to take my own road, take my own path. That's what I was about yesterday. So it's me being that way. Sometimes, yeah, I, I gamble. I take a lot of, not gamble, but I take a lot of, uh, what's that word? I can't even think of it. But I, I, I 
take a lot of chances with stuff, right? And sometimes it's, it ended up bad, yes. But a lot of times it ended up good. This was one of those that ended up bad. And I've been with this company, yes, five months. And it only made a total of $3,000 with this five months. That I debted, 200 there, 300 here. Some, some weeks I don't even get paid. Some weeks I go into the negative. I have never seen a check that's more than $600 until he made that deal. And then I got a check for $1,000. And I did it, and I grossed $8,000. Well, technically I grossed $9,000, but he told me I had to, he had to take $1,000 away to give to the company for hush money. So they will be on our asses about it. This is what he said, I quoted. So technically I grossed $9,000. They took $1,000 of that way to give to a company. And then out of that, the rest of that, only see a thousand dollars, close to eight. So I'm just gonna let that sit and marinate, and let the people that hear this think about that part. Are you are you still driving with with them or no? As of Friday, was it Friday? Wednesday. I am currently not driving. Okay. Just stuff had to had to go. So after I said I spoke up for to Super Ego about what they did to a veteran, a battle of mine, no matter if you're a veteran or not, but for it to be a battle buddy, a veteran, and y'all took his ashes from his son. Bro, y'all got a turtle. Like, y'all got a maternal. And if you, if you, any veteran in this company, and you think that's okay, and you still want to drive from this company, and you think that's okay, you're a veteran, and that's your battle, that's his ashes, dead or not, bro, come on. Have some dignity. I, I still can't wrap my head around that stuff that's going on with Tim. Again, hopefully he'll be able to find some satisfaction out of out of this whole ordeal, though. So, yeah, Tony, man, with this whole video gate, the conversation between you and the dispatcher, if if the dispatcher haven't called you and gave you this this cup of tea. And if that situation with Tim didn't happen, would you still be rocking out for them? Would you still be driving for them? To be honest with you, though, no. I, I already have evidence out of that video, but that, that video explains everything that everybody needs to know. And that's why I put that out before I put anything else out. That is the biggest piece of evidence that I personally have. That, will, that should literally just shut, shut everybody up, really. I mean, there's no way you're going to tell me you're going to steal money for me, take 12% for me, or on top of you, I'm going to the money for me. And then not even pay me anything at all. No way. I should be saying, gross it, 7 k bring it back 1000 After spending 1200 to 1300 on fuel, that don't make sense. So. Hell of a head scratcher. You, you would think that if the dispatcher was so personable with you, what other drivers that he's been personable with? Well, this this can't be the first hold on, time hold on, that. Let me stop you right there. Let, let me stop you right there. All right. So in that video, which is right, it's not only me. You're right. There is other drivers that he offered it to, but there's also more drivers that other dispatchers offer to that they offered it to. When he tells me it's just a team, it's a group. He called it us as a team. Do you want to be on the team? So. He's supposed to be on a vacation this month. This is what he's telling me. He's taking a vacation at the end of this month. He won't be back until March. I'm going to put you with another driver or another veteran on the team so that you can continue making money and it won't be that big of a difference. And then we can still regroup. So he indicated that there's more dispatchers doing this to the time. But in the midst of me trying to get those other dispatchers made, I end up having to quit. So yes, there is other dispatchers doing this. Yes, there is other drivers that they got doing this, not only me. So let's make that clear to everybody. Okay. I'm sure that this has been floated around a little bit, especially across Facebook. Have you got any type of pushback from anybody on the video? Anybody from the home office of controversial company, Super Eagle, reached out, said anything? Any other drivers came in to try to debunk all of that? How quickly things change. Let me tell you something, Guido. My name is Clarence. So, yes, I did. I had a couple of drivers, not drivers, but paid drivers that Super Eagle paid come and say something to me about it. But I don't pay them any attention because that's the way you can debunk something that's coming straight out of a dispatcher's mouth. I either or their show the messages. 
for when he texted me from the very beginning. Everything's on it. I don't have to, to prove myself. I let, the, I let the evidence speak for me. I don't care to argue with anybody. I don't care to go back and forth with anybody. That video says everything that everybody needs to hear. If you don't want to believe it, that's on you. Take your chances. Be safe out there. So I can say for you. But as far as the office, have I heard stuff from Bill? Yes. Actually, that's one of the reasons why I had to quit. They came and took my truck with all my stuff in it. They took my TV, my bed, my sheets, my pillows, my slow chairs. They took everything I had in there. My tablet or my iPad. But that's all materialistic stuff. I'm not a materialistic person. So I don't really care for it. They think it ain't hurting me, but they're not. So unless I'm going to get replaced. I'm not tripping. But what they did to other people, it's far worse than what they did to me. I can care less. So that's another reason why I have to leave. They retaliated, took my truck, towed it to a yard. I know where your yard is. Truck number 9651. It's over here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. For anybody that ended up going to go get it, if y'all get my stuff, if y'all would be glad to return it, cool. But if not, I don't care for it. Y'all can have it. The Rigo can have it because they are known to take people's trucks and then some of they have in it for profit and they put the trucks back out there so they doesn't drive it. So I'm already aware of that. So I really don't care for it. But yes. They came, retaliated after calling me multiple times, me not answering their calls. They won't text me because I told them, if y'all want to speak to me, text me. I don't want nothing on the voice. And they won't text me. So I stopped answering their calls. They retaliated against me to take my truck. Take it. Other than that, that's it. Where did they take the truck from? Where where were you Where were you in conjunction with the truck when they took it? Uh, I, was in, I was actually on home. Came home. So I had some home time with my wife. My daughter, go back to my truck, it's gone. Straight out of a single K. Okay. I go in a single K. I'm like, hey, what happened to my truck? You have to use your footage. But we said that they was going to be here in a couple hours to get the truck. I'm like, who would call y'all? Why did y'all call me? A number. We got to sign in every time we park here. So it was like, well, I think it was somebody from the company. That's why we didn't call you. So I'm like, okay. I called the company. Probably our fleet manager. He's like, I don't know what's going on. I'll get back to you in a couple of minutes. Give me a little bit. Give me a little bit of time. Cool. I haven't heard from him since. Call up the dispatch I had. Hey, bro, you heard me? Uh, yeah. Well, nah, I don't know anything about it. Let me find out from your fleet manager. Okay, cool. Call up an overnight fleet management. They're like, yeah, we we don't know the location of your truck. We haven't seen your truck. Your truck GPS was the Pegasus since October the 3rd. Pause. What? So if y'all knew about GPS was a Pegasus since October the 3rd, why, was, why didn't y'all notify me of that? So, of course, now we're like, okay, call up. Like, okay, again. Hey, well, what happened to my truck? He had to do the potage. Yeah, it was this truck company that came and sold it. Call them. Yeah, your company had us come and sold the come and sold the truck. It'd be six hundred and something dollars to get it out, but you have to get approval from your company. Cool. What can I get my stuff out of the truck? You have to get approval from your company. I haven't heard nothing. Super Ego told you the towing company that towed the truck, right? No, 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 no. 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 The the truck the truck stop I had parked the truck at. Oh, they, they told you. They the what, told you. They told yeah. you what trucking, what towing company came and got the truck. Correct. Okay. So you parked at that truck stop all the time, right? It wasn't, it wasn't like you parking over there. It wasn't left for a week or anything like that, right? Yeah. You there on your 34. So, so when you go and park there, you have, they give you at the Circle K uh, up here in Spring Lake, North Carolina, like right outside of Fayetteville. You go there, you sign, they say you are parked there. They give you 25 parking. 25 hours, you have to move your truck. So I'll just move it to one of the side streets over by the by the Walmart. Then I'll go back the next day and re-park it over there again for another 24 hours. So, so you found out what towing company. You called the towing company. Uh, the towing company told you that Super Eagle told them to go and get the truck? Co correct. And then tell you that it's $600 to get it out correct okay so if super eagle told them to to, to snatch up the truck why is he telling you that it costs you six hundred dollars to get it out why not tell super eagle to pay that six hundred dollars they told you to go get it in the first place a little something from your friends at the butter bank club brand new surround sound hd tv compatible correct well so uh, I think you I think you misunderstood a little bit. So uh, so I called them. I called I called the towing company. Yeah yeah. All right. So uh, yeah. So I called the towing company, and then they said yes, it'll be six hundred twenty dollars if you get it out today. 
cool. So as I'm headed over there, I'm calling them like, hey, can y'all make sure somebody at the office? I'm headed there now. And that's when they say, oh, you need to get verification from the company to get to see if you're able to get the truck out. So I called them. I'm like, hey, y'all going to get my truck out or what? They, now they tell me I got to call y'all for verification. Like, I'm going to pay for it. So then after that point, I haven't heard nothing from Super Ego. I guess they was like, forget it, here, get the truck back. But whatever the case may be, they might have missed the truck. I don't know. What I know is they told my truck, go get it out. And I haven't heard nothing from them since. All for retaliation. Wow. You already mentioned earlier that there's that that was material stuff. So it wasn't a, it wasn't as serious or significantly or any significance such as Tim's situation. So Wow. Now that you got all of this information, of course, you getting it out there to the masses, letting people know that, hey, this is what's going on behind the scenes. Hopefully somebody would be like, OK, well, I was thinking about going over there, but now I'm not. <laughs> right. Thank you for sharing your story, man. The more crazy stories that I hear, the more crazier it gets. <laughs> I mean, hey, if they want to hear more from from somebody that's an admin of the group that I got even more evidence, all they got to do is go hear your other podcast with Dorianda and go from there. Because, I mean, she got she got a lot. <laughs> like, I got some stuff. The other two people got some stuff. But her, she got a lot. Again, I hope everything worked out for you. What's your whole feeling about their their leasing style like it's it's it it feels like every company in illinois runs off of controversial company super ego style of leasing 88 percent of the low low financing for the truck trying to entice you to get in there to be a millionaire to make money and all like that how do you feel about their style guess what it's coming out of your race you know, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little intimidated. As well you should, my friend. So, to be honest with you, I haven't really tried any other leasing company up there besides Sabrigo. But, so, so I just got out the military a couple of years ago. So, I was a company driver for a little bit for another, before I decided to go and try to lease a truck from, from Sabrigo. So, I, I don't really, I can't really speak on any other company that's up there in Chicago, but I do hear a lot of bad things. So let me just say that. Uh, and too deep like Omar. Make me want to track you down and hit the track hog with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama want to get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy. Bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.